Zach Wheeler is off the board. A reported five-year, $118 million agreement with the Phillies. 118 divided by five for the average annual... What's the V stand for? Value? Value. Jake, what is it? Oh, God. The number? Yeah, what's his uh, AAV? It's 23.6. Oh, you- you I know I'm not a number. I just guy, did it in my it's... head. Cameron didn't show me on the calculator at all. Yeah, no, it's well, it is twenty three six. And for those asking, Mustakis is sixteen on the nose, so you're welcome. Can I tell you something about this Wheeler Please. deal? Please. All these deals this season, dudes are getting overpaid, and I'm happy for it. It's better for baseball. I root for the player to get money more than the owner to get money. This deal's fucking crazy. Yeah. Zach Wheeler getting more money than Patrick Corbin is nuts. AAV-wise. AAV, average annual value, is Corbin's was less than Zach Wheeler's. I mean, $100 million for Zach Wheeler is nuts. We joked that, you know, we didn't, we joked that like if Houston grabbed him, they can turn him into coal. So we do think there's a lot of potential because he's got the arm talent. He's got the raw abilities. Uh, he's like had Tommy John surgery and that's way in his rear view now. So I think he's a good pitcher, but like 118 million over five years. I'm kind of shocked and scared at what this does to the Cole and Strasburg deals, which were already high. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not too surprised. I mean, when you put Wheeler and Corbin in a bucket, the numbers aren't that crazy. I think I think the bigger thing with Corbin is A, he's a lefty and B, his slider significantly ticked up that you could link that to his success. Um Wheeler's numbers, uh, when I got into baseball reference today, I I thought I'd be a little more depressed by the signing. He he's got one outlier season and I think it was a year the year he got hurt or the year he came back. Otherwise, he's been pretty good. Um, but, but Patrick you know, Corbin had the benefit of being the top of his class. Like, he was going to right, get the much. Right, right, right. And everyone was kind of in agreement that the Nationals overpaid for Corbin. Well, that's why our friend Zach Wheeler deserves to make a nice call to young Patrick because Patrick might have got Zach uh, a little extra cheese. Yeah, yeah. Because he, Ugh. Corbin, had a really nice season and a really nice playoff run for a team that ended up wor- winning the World Series. So that's that's exactly what uh, the Phils are telling themselves right now. And yeah, I, I don't know. I think injuries have been a thing uh, for Wheeler. Uh, maybe he's got a little bit of the Met stench. We'll talk about that at the end of the show a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, right now you have to be, if you're a Phillies fan, you're excited for now, you're scared for the future. I think a lot of baseball people are shocked he got that kind of money, but uh, I don't know. I think this is uh, this is kind of it. He doesn't get that six-year, though, but we'll, uh, we'll see. I mean, they need, the Phillies need three yeah, where, years where? out of Wheeler, and I don't, I don't know if they're going to get that. Say that again, you broke up a little on me. I I said the Phillies are saying they need three years out of Wheeler, and I don't know if they're going to get that. Yeah. Where do you think he slots? Is he their number one now? And Nola's the two, and Velasquez is the three? I think Nola's the one. Um, I think Nola had a slow start last season, but he's still the guy that's supposed to be um, kind of their rock. I mean, 2018, Nola was 17 and six with a two, three, seven ERA. I, I mean, um, I agree with up. you, but it's just funny to sign this guy for this much. And he's not your opening day starter. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. You could, you could go different ways with that conversation. Opening hate, day starters. I hate opening that days. I, I can't believe I just yeah, said opening, that. It's, it's overrated anyways. I mean, you know, the Yankees traded for James Paxson last year and it's that, that became a whole thing. Guys ended up getting hurt, but yeah, no, I, I don't think that's a thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Hey, good, good for Philly. Good for the NL East. Girardi, your dude. Joe's putting together a squad here. I mean, they got, they got a pretty good group, right? They need maybe, I don't know if the whole five pitchers are that great. I mean, you still got Velasquez, Eflin and, uh, a less than Arietta, but whatever. 
They're competing. They're going out there and getting and, guys, so I like that. And maybe that's what's happening this offseason, Jim. How many teams have we heard like are on the brink of doing really good stuff. I feel like that wasn't the story last season. Like Machado Padres rumors were like, yeah, they're they want Machado, but they still might be a couple years away. And it's like that's not exciting at all. Like right now, we've got a lot of teams that are trying to strike, and like Donaldson's such a wild card right now. Like, where's he gonna end up? Like, I feel like the Phillies are in on him. Um, the White Sox want to be on everyone, like Zach Wheeler, and now you're the most hated person in Chicago. Oh, that's so stupid. I was being sympathetic to White Sox fans because yeah. their GM is going out there. And like, so if you don't know, the White Sox offered uh, Wheeler more money than the Phillies. Maybe not AAV was higher, but more money for sure. Who knows how they loaded the contract? But he, he said, no, he'd rather go to Philadelphia. And the reason that they're telling the public is because his wife's from New Jersey and uh, they wanted to stay close to New Jersey, but like, if you're the White Sox, you if you're the, I know White Sox fans are using that as like an excuse. Well, what are we gonna do? His wife wanted to stay in New Jersey. If you're the White Sox GM, you're thinking, "Fuck, what could we have done that we could have made it more enticing than his wife not moving?" You know what I mean? Yeah. Because a lot of teams have conquered the I have family close. You also can never give a guy shit. If he says, oh, I, I need to stay close to my family. So I don't buy that that's 100% why he took less money. I think there's something else going on. And I'm not saying that to be like a bad guy or talk shit about the White Sox. They're my second favorite team in the AL, you dicks. They were coming at me hard. And I was like, I didn't even insult you. I didn't even insult you. It just sucks for you guys. Last year, Rick Hahn, the GM of the White Sox, he said he went to sleep feeling very confident because they gave the best offer. But the Manchado wanted guaranteed money. They were giving more money, but not more guaranteed money. So maybe they did it a little different with Wheeler. So now they made sure to give them the most guaranteed money, go get their guy. They go to sleep confident again. They wake up. He's not a White Sox. White Sox. So I feel I feel bad. That's terrible. You did get uh, Grandal, and you did get Abreu to come back, and you got a bunch of good good teams. I think you're going to be competing in the Central. So like, I wasn't trying to knock the White Sox. They were saying this sucks for the GM. Like his ownership and his fan base is telling him go sign guys, and he's fucking doing his best, <laughs> and it just yeah. hasn't worked out yet. You uh, you got the backfire, Jim, and we we love a good backfire in this podcast and all our podcasts. Um, and yeah, you accidentally turned Chicago against you. I'm trying to figure out. I I think the Phillies. I mean, they're going Nola, uh, Wheeler, Arietta should be back. Um, a, they had a couple other Eflin, uh, and then I I think they have a couple guys that should fight for spots. Pavetta. Um, Ike off. So I, I wonder if they're done with the pitching. I think they're going to be rumored in for a couple more arms, but uh, we'll see. I, I'd like to see one more splashy move on them because that would, that would make it seem like the Phillies are very real this year.